understand the past is essential to a better understanding of the present and perhaps a judgment of the future. And then, of course, why is Cromwell important? Cromwell's important because he's unique. An obscure country gentleman who rose to fame and changed the future of our country irrevocably. His statue stands outside Parliament testifying to his role in ensuring the supremacy of Parliament over the divine right of kings. And the supremacy of Parliament may not always be entirely popular with every member of our nation. But there's half the world that would give anything to have the stability of a freely elected Parliament, freely elected and freely dismissible at regular intervals. And of course, like many very great figures, in fact, I think all the great figures of our history, Cromwell is controversial, especially controversial perhaps not in England so much, but certainly in Ireland for the way, the rather brutal way in which his soldiers put down a dissent in the mid 17th century. Now Ireland, I can tell you, has neither forgotten nor forgiven, but it was very much the way in which things were so often done at that time in warfare in those days. But then there is the other side of Cromwell, not the side you never hear about, the side of a family man, a country gentleman, a man who had a good sense of fun, who actually enjoyed dressing not in dark clothes, which he hardly ever wore, but in rather more colourful clothes whenever he had the opportunity. But beyond that, a man who played a leading role in winning and bringing a civil war to an end. A man who ended the personal rule of kings. A man who deposed the monarch, uh, but later, when he had the opportunity, turned down the chance of the crown himself. A man who introduced the only written constitution our nation has ever had. Who conducted an effective foreign policy, gave the United Kingdom a single parliament and a single executive for the first time in our long history. Now, a man who can achieve all that from relatively average beginnings is no normal. And yet, he was. A normal Huntingdon man brought up here, educated here at our museum, when that museum was the local town grammar school. Educated in the same place, of course, as a little later was Samuel Pepys, whose home is just a little way down the road in Brampton, the only home that he ever owned. Quite remarkable that small Huntingdon as it was then should have produced two of the great iconic figures of our history in Cromwell and in Pepys. But Cromwell is, I think, beyond any reasonable argument, one of the greatest figures from our past and still will be one of the greatest figures from our past when another 400 years have come and gone and our successors look back down the long avenue of our history. And that, of course, is why we remember him. That's why we honor him. That's why we always will. And that, of course, is why he matters. Three cheers for Oliver Cromwell! Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Hup, hup.